safety uh, and it should be secure okay these things are uh, the issues in front of us okay and uh, in today's class we are going to see about this data objects and attribute types okay when you uh, talk about this data object what do you mean by data object can anyone say what do you mean by data object when i take uh, a table it will have some rows and columns okay table is uh, composed of rows and columns which one is termed as row and which one is termed as column come on tell me objects okay uh, one more thing i'm giving i'm saying something called as objects and something called as attribute or attribute which one is object which one is attribute the rows are considered as objects and Very the good. columns are attributes okay the rows are considered as objects and the columns are considered as the attributes so when you talk about this row row is uh, also termed as tuple right the data tuple so this is a mere thing which is stored in your database okay so when you consider this data objects data objects okay it is described by this attributes okay will you agree the objects were described by using attributes because a row will contain many columns this row is made up of these columns therefore i can say that this objects were described by using this attributes will i say will i say in this manner yes sollama in the objects ella in the attributes nal da build panirukanga appadi sollama ena oru row eduthittada adu full attributes irukum adnalu i can say that the data object uh, can be described by using attributes right um when i take uh, uh, this uh, data objects the data objects can also be termed as what entities will you agree entities na solalam correct ah i am talking about the other names of objects other names entities sample examples so when i uh, just want to take an example i'll take one row will you agree will you agree sample example instance data points these are all the other names for the data objects so when i take this data to full it will contain a row and a column the row is meant as the data object and column is meant as the attribute come on tell me what is an attribute so objects patti pesiyachu what do you mean by attribute it is a data field yes or no the field of each and every field of a table is considered as an attribute also this uh, uh, field or the attribute can be named as dimension sometimes or sometimes it is also termed as nouns when you pick an attribute from a sentence then the noun can be made as one dimension okay in uh, um, what um, in different different fields it, this attribute is uh, called by different different names for example in data warehousing okay this is termed as dimension i'm talking about attribute okay and in case of machine learning this dimension is termed as feature feature extraction abhi nam paathirpo right and in case of statistics this is termed as variable okay sometimes the values observed for the attributes attribute kun or value irukum and the value per enna observation we can say the value for the attribute is termed as observation okay <coughs> the set of attributes okay um, uh, to describe an uh, object is termed as attribute vector they are saying so when you uh, when you want to explain one attribute okay and the distribution of the data by using one attribute then it is termed as univariate 
and uh, when you explain the distribution of the data by using two variables or two dimensions then it is termed as bivariate see what i am trying to explain here is the object and the attribute for a table it is all over database will contain multiple tables okay the tables will have rows and columns the rows were termed as the objects and columns were termed as attributes there are different names for rows and columns the rows they termed as entity samples example when i take a table okay uh, suppose i am having a table called as customer sorry customer table in this we will have what the customer id customer name how much uh, Uh, products he bought, and what is the price of the product he bought? So this is one row. One row. If I take ID, name, products, price, will be one row that I am calling as object. Each and every uh, thing is called as an attribute. Okay, right. So when uh, the distribution of the data is depending upon only one variable, then it is termed as univariate. and uh, it is depending on uh, multiple uh, i mean two variables then it is called as a bivariate okay uh, i told you about this okay there are different po uh, possible values okay different types of attributes available in data mining okay depending upon the possible values we can classify the attributes into these types nominal binary ordinal numeric okay these are all the Uh, types of the attributes you can observe the first type is the nominal apart from these uh, three okay the numerical uh, quantity is again divided into interval scaled and ratio scaled discrete or continuous okay let's talk about some uh, nominal attributes the so nominal attributes uh, normally we will uh, uh, work on name place things right is name place things there is nominal attributes nominal or value all the so this is termed as a categorical data okay it is also termed as a categorical data see the, these uh, nominal attributes are not having any meaningful order okay in uh, case of the c programming we have studied about enumerated data type can anyone say what is this enumerated data type enum starting value is monday tuesday Okay, Wednesday. If there is any meaning for these things, it will start from zero, one, two, three, and so on. It will go. Is there no? No meaning at all. Will you agree? We will. Uh, uh, we will compose these values with some names. That's all. Will you agree with this? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Ma so uh, this enumerators were termed as this nominal attributes. See, it will take some symbol sometimes, values or some numbers. For example, when you take this customer ID, customer ID is a number, okay? But you can't do any mathematical operation. No mathematical operations are, are allowed, okay? Serial number, roll number. It will take some symbols, okay? Some of the other values also. so it will have some numbers but you can't do any mathematical operations or that and these are all not quantities and no specified order will be there it will not have any meaning okay so no order no meaning no mathematical operations can be applied on to this nominal attributes simply your name or the serial number some um, some value will be giving but no mathematical operations can be applied so this is termed as what the nominal attributes the second type of attribute is a binary attribute what do you mean by binary attribute binary binary zero and one yeah zero and one that's all zero or one so it will take only two values two attribute values so either zero or one yes or no true or false absent or present so basically this uh, binary can be classified into two types again symmetric uh, binary attributes and asymmetric binary attributes so in case of symmetric binary attributes if i say 0 or 1 s yes or no all are having same weightage equal weightage will be given 
for both the values because binary it will take only two values both the two values will take what the equal possibility or the probability but in case of this asymmetric no it won't take the equal weightage if i take a medical test okay medical test in this medical test i'll go for either positive or negative see the positive uh, outcome will have more impact yes or no when compared to the negative output so in this case the weightage of this positive will be more when compared to this negative so it is considered as what asymmetric binary attribute okay this is clear clear with this binary attribute yes ma'am it has yes no no solder card okay come and go for the ordinal attribute see in the first attribute what was the first attribute i explained what was the first attribute nominal attribute nominal attribute what i told you nominal attribute uh, will not have any meaningful order okay but when you go for this ordinal in the name itself i can say in the ordinal attribute it will have some meaningful order or the ranking okay uh, but uh, the magnitude is not known what does it mean magnitude is not known in the sense for example i can specify a column called as cool drink size okay the value of uh, this uh, cool drink size is small medium and large but we can't tell from uh, the value how much bigger it is how much smaller it is i'm just saying the cool drink size is small medium and large evlo small evlo medium evlo large that quantity i can't give over here okay that's the ordinal attribute uh, for example uh, it is a, uh, it is a subjective measurement and not objective you can uh, split the data into some ranges for example when you go for your marks it will have some a plus a a minus b plus o and all if i take o it will split the mark range from 91 to 100 okay and then the next grade will go for what 81 to 90 so if you split the data into ranges and it will have some meaningful order then you can say that it is an ordinal attribute okay and uh, the nominal binary and ordinal attributes are qualitative because they describe only the feature okay it will say only the quality okay how uh, uh, how big it is how small it is Uh, whether it is positive or negative that quality it will describe okay and uh, basically you won't ab- apply any mathematical operations on these three kinds of attributes like nominal binary or the ordinal attributes the next type of attribute is actually what the numeric attribute it will uh, define you the quantity okay correct quantity or the magnitude will be given over here that's a numeric uh, attribute uh, and also i can say that it is measurable okay it will have some integer value or some real value there are two types over here there are two types um interval scaled attribute and uh, ratio scaled attribute so interval scaled it can be measured on scale of equal size values for example uh, we can compare we can quantify uh, the temperature height weight years of experience these are all some of the interval scaled uh, attributes and uh, uh, you can uh, apply this mean median mode and all also in case of this interval scale but uh, in case of this ratio scaled you know the zero point uh, will be there inherent to zero point but when you when you go for this interval scale zero will not be there for example the mean uh, the mid value zero will not be available Uh, and the positive and the negative quantities only be available in case of uh, this interval scale but when you go for this ratio scale the zero quantity will be available with the positive and the negative values okay for example temperature 0 degree kelvin and uh, what 0 uh, degree temp- temperature or kelvin or minus 273 degree c okay so these things uh, uh, can be applied in case of this ratio scale and not in case of this uh, interval scaled attributes and uh, when you, you can give some monetary quantities uh, $1 or uh, 1000 rupees okay so these things are also coming under this uh, ratio scaled uh, quantities only 1000 is 1000 that's all okay uh, and uh, the next uh, type of the attribute is the discrete or the continuous valued attributes 
it is uh, basically used in this uh, machine learning techniques discrete uh, attributes continuous attributes and all so in case of this uh, discrete it is so finite and it is countable uh, or i can say that uh, countably uh, infinite set of uh, values infinite set of values can anyone say example for this infinite set of values but it is countable infinite set of values see this misleading uh, description countable countably infinite set of values can anyone give some example for this the number of phone calls in a particular uh, in one hour okay in one hour uh, how many phone calls you have received okay fine one more example i can give example is the customer id or the serial number or uh, the number of uh, persons are uh, coming and shopping in a particular mall so whatever maybe the example you have said is also correct um see uh, the customer id will start from 1 2 3 infinite number of customers will be arriving to the store and i'll give some infinite numbers right 5 2 i i can't say how many customers will be arriving in a day but i'll give some customer id for them right that's why but it is countable at the end of the day so i can say that it is countably infinite set of values okay and i can use some natural numbers also in case of this discrete quantity okay but in case of this continuous i'll be using some real numbers okay 0.0012 okay so this is actually the continuous valued quantities fine fine with this attributes attributes are clear purinjircha they just they are introducing what is an attribute and what is an object so when you take a table it will have some rows and columns the rows will be termed as objects and columns will be termed as attributes so in uh, different domains it is termed with different names uh, when you take uh, this uh, attribute in case of this data warehousing it is termed as dimension but in case of the machine learning it is termed as feature and uh, when you take statistics it is termed as variable okay and when you take uh, this attribute um, it will have several types depending upon the possible values nominal binary ordinal numeric uh, numeric again can be categorized into three interval scale ratio scale discrete uh, and uh, continuous and binary symmetric and asymmetric so what is this nominal some categorical values will be coming under this nominal but no meaningful order uh, and a binary uh, only it will take two values depending upon this value you can categorize it into two types symmetric and asymmetric symmetric both the uh, values will have equal weightage but in case of asymmetric both are not having an equal weightage a ordinal value what do you mean by ordinal what do you mean by ordinal ordinal na ennu kete meaningful order yes some meaningful order will be there not like your nominal can anyone give example for this ordinal ordinal example cold drink size onna ne so small medium big you can't say how small it is how big it is right <coughs> that's ordinal variable so it will have some meaningful order some meaningful ranking will will also be there but magnitude will not be there that is actually ordinal okay uh, this nominal binary and ordinal all three are qualitative in nature but if you want to quantify okay then you can go for this numeric type of uh, attributes uh, in case of numeric you will have some interval scale ratio scale discrete versus continuous in case of interval scaled uh, you will be splitting the data into some intervals but zero is not included if zero is also included then it is considered as a ratio scale in case of this discrete uh, it will have some finite and countably infinite set of values maybe you can use some integers and finite uh, quantities you will be using but in case of this discrete continuous uh, uh, numerical continuous real numbers you will be using in case of this continuous attributes clear clear with this title 
data objects and attributes? Yes, ma'am. The next is uh, the basic statistical description of the data. A basic statistics. Basically, it is used for uh, describing or uh, used to identify the properties of the data. Mm, and also, it is used to identify the noise, noise or the outliers. Okay, so it's a measurement, I can say. Measurement of the data can be done by using the statistical description. Don't think that statistics are not a good thing. See, if you if you want to do some data mining, uh, you should know some basic statistics. Okay, so there are varieties of areas you can concentrate. We can start from mean, median, and all. The basic uh, things uh, were given here. These three things you should concentrate more when you go for a data mining technique. So you should measure the central tendency. The central tendency. The center of the data can be identified either by using mean, median, mode, or mid range. And uh, how the data is distributed, okay, that can be given by using uh, several methods called as range, quartile, interquartile, fine number summary, box plot, outliers, and all. And uh, we have varieties of graphic displays also in order to visualize the data. Uh, for that, uh, we can use some visual inspection of the data, some graphical or statistical representation of the data, bar chart, pie chart, line graph, and all. Uh, some other popular categories are also there in case of this uh, graphical display. It's a quantile plots, quantile, quantile plots, histogram, scatter plots. Okay, so what I told you about univariate distribution and bivariate distribution if the distribution of the data depending upon only one variable, then it is termed as termed as univariate. univariate. So if it is uh, uh, based on two variables, then it is bivariate. So uh, in case of this univariate distribution, you can uh, give the display by using quantile, uh, quantile, quantile plots and uh, histograms. But uh, when it is uh, when you are going for this bivariate, then you can go for the scatter plots. Okay. So uh, let's see what is what. So mean, median, and mode. Mean, how we will be finding? Mean is nothing but what? Mean is what? It is a average. Average, average yes. The formula basically is what will be adding everything and dividing uh, by the total number of quantities. That's all. So in mathematics, it is given by using the formula x bar is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n x i divided by n where n is the total num total number of uh, quantities and x i is uh, each and every individual data okay so the mean uh, can be found uh, for uh, this uh, given set of data by using this x bar is equal to totally 12 quantities are available so in the div uh, dividend i am just uh, taking this 12 and i'm just adding all these numbers together and finally, I'm just getting this answer. This is nothing but this median. Sometimes, sometimes, weight is also associated along with this uh, data. In those cases, this formula will be a little bit modified. X bar is equal to summation of Xi into Wa, where Xi is the original data and W is the weight associated with the particular data. Okay, divided by the total number of weights. It's not a weight, total uh, uh, total weights were summed together. So in, in those cases, the mean can be uh, calculated by using this formula. Okay. And uh, but the problem is there in the mean. Can you identify what is the problem available in mean? Mean at a combo the other problem baro at the end and solo Can you identify? Okay, fine. Uh, take our class. Duplicates. Yes. So, in case of this, uh, okay, average of the class mark, some 10 members in the class scored 0. And 10 members in the class scored 100 out of 100. And 10 members in the class scored some 90. Totally 30 members in this class. Can this mean will find out the center of the data for this given set correctly?
டே நான் கேட்குற கொஸ்டின் புரியுதா ஒரு கிளாஸில் முப்பது பேர் இருக்காண்டா பத்து பேர் வந்து ஜீரோ மார்க் எடுத்திருக்கான் பத்து பேர் நூற்றுக்கு நூறு வாங்கியிருக்கான் ஒரு பத்து பேர் தொண்ணூறு வாங்கியிருக்கான் இப்போது இதுக்கு நான் ஆவரேஜ் எடுத்தால் எனக்கு எவ்வளோ வரும்னு கேட்குறேன் மேம் ஒரு ஆன்சர் வரும் பட் அந்த ஆன்சர் யாருமே மார்க் வாங்கல அந்த மார்க் அந்த மார்க் வரும் சோ வாட் டஸ் இட் மீன் அந்த மார்க் வந்து யாருமே ஆ ஓகே வாட் டஸ் இட் மீன் அப்ப ஸ்மாலர் நம்பர் இஸ் एक्चुअली வாட் புல்லிங் டவுன் த மீன் will you agree here the smaller numbers are pulling down the mean value will you agree i'll say why it is okay consider one more example in a company salary salary of some persons two persons are getting some 1 lakh and 50000 remaining some 20 persons are getting some 50000 will i take so totally you just consider only 22 persons are available in this company what about the mean quantity will the mean give the correct value ena kekkuradhu puriyudha pesangala ஒரு கம்பெனி எடுத்துக்கிறேன் அதில் ரெண்டு பேர் வந்து ஒன்றரை லட்ச ரூபா சம்பளம் வாங்குறோம் மீதி இருக்க இருபது பேரும் ஐம்பதாயிரம் சம்பளம் வாங்குறோம் இந்த இருபத்தி ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் நான் மீன் எடுத்தேன் எனக்கு ஒரு வேல்யூ கிடைக்கும் அந்த மீன் கரெக்டான்னு கேட்கிறேன் Okay, two persons are getting only 50,000. If I take uh, the average of these 22 persons, will the mean gives me correct answer? No. No, yes. That's what I expected. Now listen to this. See, the problem in mean is that it is very sensitive towards the extreme. okay extreme in the sense they are outliers this is the outlier and also here this is an outlier the small numbers will always pull down the mean and big numbers will always push up the mean will you agree will you agree the small numbers if anga vaangravanga pathina 10 per 20 per la 10 per da vandu zero vaangiruka but அது வந்து கண்டிப்பாக என்னோட மீன் வேல்யூவை புல் டவுன் பண்ணிடும் இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த ஒரு இருபது பர்சனோட வேல்யூ அந்த ரெண்டு பர்சனோட வேல்யூவை புஷ்அப் பண்ணிடும் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் நாட் வாட் த கரெக்ட் குவான்டிட்டி ஸோ வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ இன் தீஸ் கேசஸ் இஸ் தட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் த ட்ரிம்டு மீன் டெக்னிக் வாட் டியூ மென் பை ட்ரிம்டு மீன் ட்ரிம்டு மீன் இன் த சென்ஸ் we will be chopping the high and the low extremes we are going to chop the high value and the low value in this case okay to offset the effect by small numbers you can use the trim the mean called as chopping of high and the low quantities okay clear clear with this enna pannalam chop pannidalam solranga ஆனால் இது அந்த குவான்டிட்டி ஆஃப் த டேட்டா ஷுட் பி வெரி வெரி லெஸ் யூ ஷுட் நாட் சே ரொம்ப வந்து அந்த டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் அப்சர்வேஷன்ஸில் அது வந்து ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் இருக்குன்னா யூ கான்ட் டூ திஸ் ஷாப்பிங் ஆர் திஸ் ட்ரிமிங் ஓகே இஃப் இட் இஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஆர் டூ குவான்டிட்டிஸ் தென் யூ கேன் கோ ஃபார் திஸ் ஷாப்பிங் ஆர் ட்ரிமிங் ஓகே ரைட் கிளியர் கிளியர் வித் திஸ் ஓகே த நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி மீடியன் வாட் யூ மென் பை மீடியன் What do you mean by median? Middle value. Yes, the middle value will be the median. So how we will be applying this uh, middle value? How we will be getting this? So you have to divide the data into two halves. One is your higher half. Another one is your lower half. Okay. So you can, you can apply this median in case of this numerical 
data alone. You can't apply this one in case of this categorical alone. But before going for this, you have to sort the given data uh, in the increasing order and take the middle value. Okay, middle two values you can take. Uh, if it is of uh, even, you will be taking what middle two values. If it is of odd, what you will be taking? The middle value. The middle value. So in this case, you will be dividing these two quantities by two and you will be saying what is the median. Yes or no? Okay. So what is the median for this problem? Can anyone answer for this? 30, 36, 47, 50, 52, 52 again, 56, 60, 63, 70, 70, 110. What is the median value? How many numbers are there totally? How many numbers? 8 median and then kate and done the problem. There are 12 numbers. 12 numbers. Okay, now how you will be taking this uh, middle value? Tell me. Average of 5th and 6th number, ma'am. Ah, 52 and 56 you will be taking, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th and 7th you will be taking, not uh, this one, oh. yes or no? 52 mm -hmm. and 56 you will be taking, so you will be taking this as 52 plus 56 divided by 2. What is the answer? It is 108 by 2. 108 now, 54. 54. So, 54 is actually the median. It's the middle value of the data. Okay. So, the remaining things we'll see in the next class. Now, I'll release the poll results. Poll results has been released, right? I'll show you the polls. So, you see, 27 voted for. Data mining tool will also do database queries. But some five members voted for no also. What is KDD? The equal votes, 24 uh, on knowledge discovery, 17 on knowledge discovery for data. Okay. Which one of the following is the supervised? Yeah, what is supervised and what is unsupervised? I told you. Classification is actually supervised and clustering is unsupervised. So basically this uh, grouping of data without class label and grouping of data based on the common behavior is clustering. Okay, it is unsupervised. And the supervised is, we will be grouping the data depending upon the class labels. Okay, uh, semi-supervised is also there. Do you think what, uh, I mean, uh, can anyone say what is the semi-supervised? What, what is semi-supervised? Semi supervision and then data. There will be both uh, labeled data as well as unlabeled data. Yes. I think unlabeled so, data will outweigh the labeled data. Okay. Sometimes what will happen, you know, uh, both classification and clustering we will be uh, applying in some applications. Okay. So those things will be considered as what? Semi supervised. So partially we will be applying the classification, partially we will be applying some association. So some types of applications will work uh, on this also. So for example, um, uh, for uh, the filtering of the data, we will be classifying, that is we will be applying some class labels. Thereafter, we will be grouping the data. Okay, so this is semi-supervised learning. Uh, but uh, for the semi-supervised itself, several algorithms are available. That is also there. Okay, right. Thank you. You can leave. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.